Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, we will continue talking about basic elements of geometry, only definitions, uh, no more than that, and terminology. And uh, today we will talk about circles. Well, again, everybody knows more or less what circle is, so we will just introduce a couple of uh, maybe definition and uh, uh, introduce some terminology. So if you have a circle, basically you can describe it as a, a, a set of points on the plane uh, which are uh, located at the same distance from one fixed point, which is called the center. So one particular point is called the center, everything else around it uh, on this particular curve uh, are the points which are located on the same fixed distance from this center point. Now, any segment uh, which is drawn from the center to one of the points uh, on that curve, which is called the circle, uh, is called radius. Um, now, any uh, segment which connects two uh, points on the circle and contains the center is called a diameter. Any segment which, can, which, which connects two points on a circle without uh, the property of containing the center is called a chord. So basically, diameter is a chord which has an additional property of also containing the center as well. So this is also a chord, and this is a chord. So these are all chords, and the chords which connect which, which contain the center are diameters. So this is diameter, and this is diameter. So they're all diameters. All right, I put so many lines that we can't really see anything else about it. All right, so let's do it again. Um, now, what else do we have? We have a chord, and um, we have, let's say, two radiuses. Um, there is certain duality in the term circle. Sometimes it's a curve, sometimes it's area within the curve. Uh, most likely we will uh, consider just the curve when we are talking about circles. And if you want to talk about the whole area within, we will probably say the area within the circle. Um, now, as far as areas are concerned, you can um, actually consider this particular piece of the area within the circle, uh, which is uh, bounded by uh, a chord and a piece of uh, a circle. Now, by the way, this piece of a, a, a circle is called arc. Um, so that's one thing, and this is another thing. Another piece which can be uh, which can be considered. So they also have their uh, their names. Um, uh, one of them is called, uh, I think, circular segment. Uh, or this is a segment, rather. Um, and this looks like a pizza, actually. Well, anyway, um, these are different pieces of, uh, of, of a circle or the area within the circle, which we will consider during uh, our uh, discussions about certain properties, theorems, problems, maybe, etc. Um, so let me just summarize. What do we know? Circle, center, radius, uh, chord, arc, diameter, or area within uh, the circle, which might actually be bounded by certain uh, uh, either chord or two radiuses. 
Um, so that's basically it. I mean, it, it, it's just a terminological introduction into the concept of a circle. Um, by the way, circle is something which is very thoroughly um, uh, studied by Greek mathematician Euclid, I m mentioned before as the author of uh, five famous axioms. Um, he was one of the first mathematicians who wanted to measure the lengths of this uh, circle. And uh, basically, uh, at that time, um, his research was quite advanced, actually, considering that he didn't really have any predecessors, etc. So anyway, uh, so these are major components of a circle, which we will be considering during our future lectures and uh, uh, theoretical and practical uh, studying. Thank you very much.